yes in bright minds is for sleep. It is estimated that 60 million Americans have sleep-related issues. Chronic insomnia, sleeping pills, and sleep apnea significantly increase the risk of memory problems. Here is a scan of someone with sleep apnea. We often see low activity in areas that die early in Alzheimer's. If you snore and stop breathing at night, or someone tells you that you do, get assessed. When you sleep, your brain cleans or washes itself. If sleep is disrupted, trash builds up in your brain, which damages your memory. Getting less than seven hours of sleep at night is associated with weight issues, hypertension, accidents, and trouble in your marriage, because you are more likely to say something you wish you hadn't. <laughs> you can improve your memory tomorrow by improving your sleep tonight. Do this by avoiding caffeine, a warm room, light and noise, especially from your gadgets, and alcohol. Yes, it will put you to sleep, but when it wears off, your brain will rebound and wake you up a few hours later. To sleep better, make your room cooler, darker, and quieter. Turn off your gadgets so they don't disturb you. Listening to music with a specific rhythm can help, as can hypnosis. We have a powerful program to help you retrain your brain to sleep. Magnesium and melatonin are often very effective, as is 5-HTP if you're a worrier. If you have bad thoughts that keep you awake, journaling helps to get them out of your head. 